Thank you, Michael Kerr, for that wonderful mountain report. Now I'm here in the studio with Elliot Steinberg. Elliot, can you tell us a little bit about what brought you here to Telluride in the first place? Skiing. Skiing. <laughs> yes, right. So you came up here for the snow in the winter? Yeah, you know, I've skied most of my life. And uh, I used to go to Sun Valley mostly because I lived in San Francisco. Okay. And then in the 80s, Sun Valley had a drought that lasted for about, the sawtooths, that lasted for about eight years. And so I had my kids. So we went to a lot of different places. And one of those places that we went to ski was in Telluride. And all it instantly became our favorite place. So we kept not? coming back here. How could it not, right? Right. So, and, and what year was that? When did you come out This here? was in the 80s, in the mid-80s. Okay. And then in about 1990, I bought a house here primarily to ski from. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I was still keep going back and forth to San Francisco. And then I... And then, uh, I took sort of a mini sabbatical. I sold a business I had an interest in, and I took a mini sabbatical, and I came to Telluride. Uh, I'd never been here in a non-ski season. So I came here, and um, it, it, it was amazing. And so, uh, except that the communication systems were really kind of poor, you know, you were lucky if you had one phone. <laughs> so I made it's a deal. Isolated. I made a deal with US West, who was the carrier at the time, that I would become a beta site for them if they would give me four phones. <laughs> you know, this is before you had anything. And anyway, so they did it. And that was it. I realized that you could really live a virtual life. You could be anywhere you wanted. And um so you're sort of ahead of the times. I mean, that's that's kind of how. Well, I didn't, you know, virtual reality that. wasn't a word then. Yeah. But the fact of the matter was that you could you could live a virtual life. So Elliot, you wear many hats here in Telluride. Can you tell us a little bit about about what you do? Well, I wear actually a couple of hats. So mm -hmm. one of them is that uh, I'm part of I'm a partner in the Telluride Venture Fund, which is really an effort between the Telluride Foundation and the Telluride Venture Accelerator and the Telluride Venture Fund, uh, which has a group of limited partners. And the, Can you give us just a little bit about each of those? Yes. Just a quick. Yes, sure. So uh, the Telluride Venture Accelerator and the Telluride Venture Fund started about five years ago under the auspices of the Telluride Foundation. The idea was to, the idea was to create an impact in terms of investing, job creation, and opportunity in this region. Not just in Telluride, but in the region around Telluride. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started off by creating a business plan competition. And much to our amazement, we had over 100 applicants wow. for four or five spots wow. to come out and sort of go to boot camp. Yeah. and be trained in how to be an entrepreneur and all of that sort of stuff. So that was the, the Telluride Venture Accelerator. Since then, they've created way more than 100 jobs. They've started a ton of businesses. They've done really amazing things. And, um, so really a great economy booster, uh, downtown booster. Well, it's done something very interesting, <clears throat> and that is that it's really... Uh, sort of, it's really galvanized the community. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are people, second homeowners and people who live here full time. And the Telluride Venture Accelerator permitted them to really come out in terms of working on businesses and giving advice and mentoring. So we have 90 mentors, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me, wow. in Telluride working with these companies. And um, so now we're in our fifth year of that business plan competition, as, as well as building businesses. And many of them are here, and some of them are in Telluride, and in Montrose, and Norwood, and so on. So that's been very successful. And the Venture Fund um, has, provides capital to probably half those companies. Okay. Which gives them a, a leg up. Sure. In terms of what they're doing. And then the other <clears throat> hat that I wear is I'm a director of a private foundation called the Saul's Ants Charitable yes, Foundation. Yes, tell us a little bit about that. So that um, 
Saul Zanz was a filmmaker. And uh, he made some films that most people will know, at least most people Can my age will know. Can you give us a few? <laughs> sure. So, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, sure. Amadeus, The English Patient, The Unbearable Lightness of Being. And he also built, really from the ground up, the largest independent jazz label in the world called Fantasy Records. So, so tell us what, what you do for this. So Saul's passions, really aside from music and film and so on, really related to social justice and minority poverty. And his view with his foundation was to really put a dent in poverty. And we decided that the most effective way to do that was really to focus on early childhood education. Of that if you want to put a dent in poverty, if you really need to help minority groups, it has to begin with education, and it has to begin with our youngest citizens. And so... So what does that look like? What does it look like? Well, we have a, a big program at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. It's called the Saul Zantz Initiative in Early Learning. We have a program in Chicago at the Ounce of Prevention, which is devoted to children from zero to five, mostly minorities. Um, we have some other programs in Baltimore, and, and we have some, some programs here in Telluride that we help with. Can We've you helped, tell us? well, Bright Futures. Bright Futures. We work with mm -hmm. Bright Futures. Uh, we work with Pinheads, uh, and, and a number of other, with, with Tri County Health, um, because, uh, you know, they also help a lot of minority people. Uh, who are without resources to help themselves. And, and what's your role in all of this? So I'm a director of the foundation, mm -hmm. and I spend most of my time, not most of my time, but a good chunk of my time going around and, and working with these organizations. Because what we're interested, we, we look at venture invest, we look at, excuse me, we look at uh, charitable investing the same way we look at venture investing. You need a good leader, you need scalability, you need, um, you need the skills to build a program uh, and to connect with other organizations, not to be a silo, but rather to work with all kinds of organizations to increase your breadth of services that you're providing. Of course, of course. So, uh, so that's how we evaluate what we're doing. So before we wrap up here, um and thank you so much for talking with us. My pleasure. Um, can you just tell us quickly um, what's on the horizon, what's next, what's exciting that you're working on? Well, uh, we've sort of switched over uh, from just direct investing uh, in foundation work, in charitable work. Now we're making uh, some documentaries. Okay. Because what's happened as we, you know because we're sitting here, what's happened is that mm -hmm. the advances in media, uh, the advances in the ability to distribute a film, uh, the world of documentaries has really grown. People don't read anymore. You know, they're online, they're whatever sure, they're doing. Yeah. So they're viewing something. So we've decided that, that a great way to impact, uh, impact, <clears throat> impact minority education is by making documentaries and showing those so that you engage the community and you can build some momentum in doing that. So we're making one in Alabama, we're making one in Chicago, and we're excited about that as a, as a and, step. And uh, where can people find, find your work or, or learn more about what you're doing? Well, we have two websites. One is the Telluride Venture Fund, Dot com. Tell your adventure fund dot com. Yes. Yeah, and the other one is the Saul Zantz Charitable Foundation dot org. Great. Well, you heard it. Thank you so much for talking with us. It My sounds pleasure. like you're doing some really great things. So are you. So thank you so much <laughs> thank you. for this opportunity. <laughs>